We're currently on an epic road trip through Europe from the UK with a goal to pass through as many countries as we can on the way down south to the Swiss Alps to visit my mom. And after spending the night on a surprisingly lovely ferry, we've made it to the Netherlands where we're starting this trip somewhere very important to me, Den Haag and Leiden, two absolutely beautiful places I spent a lot of my time in when I went to school here. Over the next two days, we're going to be exploring these two amazing cities, visiting some of my favorite spots from my childhood, eating delicious Dutch treats, and going to see if my old house is still as I remember it. After all, it's been 15 years. After getting off the overnight ferry, we drove about half an hour north to get to The Hague, where I had to get used to driving on the right-hand side pretty quickly. I prepared myself for this, but what I hadn't prepared myself for was... trams. Oh, no, 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 but it's not about what goes wrong, it's what you do when it does. I wonder if I'm going to get a fine for that. You were hardly in it. Yeah, but it's dangerous. Yeah. Oh, wow. No. Sorry for swearing. It's okay. It's okay. Is it? Yes. I think this is the parking, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Hello from The Hague in the Netherlands. Now, we're gonna potter about a little bit and explore The Hague and kind of see what van life would be like here because we're gonna to try to find somewhere to sleep tonight. But even though I love The Hague, I used to live in Leiden, which we're gonna to head to tomorrow. And I honestly cannot wait to see what it's like now because I essentially haven't been back since I left when I graduated from high school in 2008. But first, Let's do a little bit of exploring and find some food. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> it's so nice to be in the Netherlands. I've only been to Amsterdam, so it's really nice to see other places in the Netherlands as well. And Den Haag is a great start. We've seen a little bit of it in the last video when we arrived, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to do a little bit of exploring today. Eat some food. Yes, please. Some fries. Yes. Fries, yes. yeah, that'd be nice. It's it's a funny one because French fries, I, for some reason we call them French fries, which in my head makes me think that they're French. But Belgium and the Netherlands do fantastic fries. So we obviously have to find some. And the thing about the fries in the Netherlands, I don't know about Belgium so much. They obviously love to smother them in mayonnaise, which is fine. But they also have this like peanut butter sauce that they put all over their fries, which is just like, Sounds great. Can it get any better? <laughs> it's time for our first taste of some Dutch food. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 We've got our snow bubbles. They're still hot. Basically, it's like a thin, thin, thin waffle, I, I guess you could call it. That's sort of been sliced in half and then filled with hot caramel, the strope. And like some cinnamony, like it, it, it smells like Christmas and it tastes even better. You ready? Yeah. Oh. oh my God. Good? Oh. It's like chewy, delicious. I can't dilly dally any longer, you must try yours. I've had the packet scoop bubbles before, but not the real, real deal, fresh like this. This is so much better, so much crispier, just fresh. I know we've just had scoop waffles, but we haven't got any time to waste. Let's get some fries, or frites as they call them here. Dutch fries are double fried for a crispy outside and a soft and fluffy inside. And this place is called Frites Atelier. Oh, 
Wow. Oh, literally, she just grated some fresh lime zest on it. It smells and looks incredible. Like, what a meal. My favorite topping ever, ever, ever on fries is literally pinda sauce, which is just peanut sauce. And I feel like no other countries really do it. And if they do, they don't do it as well as the Netherlands does it, so. I would probably never have thought to put peanut sauce on fries before, but with a combination of lime and peanuts on top, it looks and smells delicious. So let's try it. But the chips are so crispy. Oh. That sounds so crunchy. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Wow, that's so good. Yeah, the chips are so crunchy. Oh my god. Mm. Best peanut butter in the world. Really? Yeah. I, I'm gonna say it. I said it. This looks like it might just be chocolate sprinkles. It's not. Well, it is, technically. But it's meant to be had on like bread. It's a breakfast. It is probably not that healthy, but it is something that growing up when I was living in the Netherlands in my teenage years after I left Sweden, this on Saturdays and Sundays, my mom said, you can have this for breakfast on the weekend. You can will love this, yes. It looks like chocolate sprinkles. Yes. It, it's, it's Are they literally... hard? No, no, they're like... Like flaky? No, they're like grainy, like almost powdery with a little bit of a... And why did you get the peanut butter? So, uh, I used to make a Snickers sandwich, so you'd put peanut butter below if you don't want just butter under it, because you have to put something on the bread to make it stick, right? You can put peanut butter. <laughs> this sounds like a diabetic's nightmare, but it sounds tasty. <laughs> yeah. I'll have some. <laughs> it's more mornings breakfast sorted. <laughs> sorted, right? Oh, wait, we need bread. Yeah, we, we need it. <laughs> but this is, I know it says chocolate hagel, uh, hagel but it's hagelslag. 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 Is that right? No, you're doing too much of Hagelslag. 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 Yeah. Yeah? Good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, decent. Thank you. Very good. Like it has to be <laughs> squishy, unhealthy white bread and untoasted. Untoasted? Yes. Oh. Some people would probably argue me on this one, but I would say untoasted, layer of butter, and then hachaslach, or just peanut butter and then hachaslach. And uh, yeah, anything else you want? Anything else Dutch you feel like? No, I'm quite Dutched out today. Yeah, yeah. I feel a little bit Dutched out. Free parking. That's really good. Yeah. Oh. As some of you may know, Adriana is from Sweden and I've always wanted to speak and understand her language. Especially now, travelling across Europe in Elton and visiting her mum. Han talar svenska. Han talar svenska. Dylan's been making some great progress. And a big part of that is thanks to Rosetta Stone. Their unique immersion method and speech recognition tools have made a huge difference because it allows you to see, hear, speak, read, and write in your chosen language. So it means that I don't have to correct his pronunciation because the app does. Since we already listen to a lot of Swedish music and he hears me speaking to my family in Swedish a lot, he can start at the level of understanding that he already has and work a little bit more on the speaking parts. What really sets Rosetta Stone apart is that it's a long-term investment into your language learning journey. They even offer a lifetime subscription which is incredibly cost-effective and gives you access to 24 languages for life which means you can learn multiple languages over a lifetime and at your own pace. You can get up to 50% off any Rosetta Stone subscription by clicking the link in the description box below. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee. Elskling, are you hungry? Yeah, ska jag lage snart? Ja, tack snälla. So, if you ever wanted to learn a language for travel, for love, or just for the sake of it, Rosetta Stone is where you should start. Tack så jättemycket. Varsågod. I want to share a little tip for you guys here if you are coming to the Netherlands and need somewhere to park up for free. So in the Park for Night app, 
you can filter <coughs> on the top left here and then you choose MH parking without services then you apply and then you look uh, there's not that many of them <coughs> here you can see one two three four five six seven about ten of them there but in a wide area uh, and I found one here that is about 35 40 minutes away that has free parking what does MH stand for? motorhome oh and you're actually allowed to park there, so we'll have no issues sleeping tonight because we both want to have a proper sleep tonight because oh. we are so tired and we won't get a knock, so that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, I think that'll do. Yeah, this parking spot seems great. A few children here playing football, a few cars, but it's pretty empty. If you had a smaller van, maybe four meters long, you'd be absolutely fine. And it's free. It's free. Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm tired. I'm happy. You oh. want to catch up on some zzz. I want to catch up on some zzz. Zzz. We went to bed at 8.30 last night. We slept for 12 hours. Oh, can you do that? Good morning. How do you feel? I feel like I could do another 12 hours. Another 12 hours? Yeah, I'm tired. No. But that was nice. Is that... Is it? Is it? Is that rain? It's been pouring with rain all night. Oh. We are in the Netherlands. That's true. <laughs> wow, twelve hours. Nice. Yeah, that was needed. <laughs> Somehow we went back to sleep for another two hours. <laughs> um, but it has literally been pouring with rain ever since literally pouring uh, but it's cozy but yeah we need to have a coffee now but as you can see no it's coffee not machine. here the reason it's not here and so many of you are asking about this it's not because we're like Ugh, I don't want the coffee machine anymore it's because it's not like it's not attached to this workspace we can't really figure out how to do that without sort of drilling holes into this and we don't have drills etc so we have to pop it in the back when we're driving around because otherwise that's a big and heavy thing. That could cause some serious damage if it goes bubbling about, so... Yeah. In the back. Yeah, we still have a, at least one coffee a day. Promise. Yeah. <laughs> 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 quickly, quickly, quickly! Go, go, go! <laughs> oh, it's the thing! <laughs> yeah! In crocs as well. Oh, soaking. Oh, my love. You know what will make you feel better? Well, Hachelslach. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, breakfast's gonna be good. Bonus of bringing your van to another country is the plugs still work. <laughs> Dutch experience. Yeah, well, if we wanted the real Dutch experience, we probably wouldn't be having these coffees. Cheers. Cheers, my love. Oh, yeah, they don't sell um, coffee in coffee shops here, do they? <laughs> no, I think they do still. You can, I think you can have a coffee and. Substances. Substances. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who haven't been paying attention until now, we're about to have what I would call the quintessential Dutch breakfast for probably children and maybe young adults. I feel like maybe a lot of adults wouldn't want to eat this, but Our I'm an adult. Have a sweet tooth like us. Yeah, 
People with a sweet tooth would love this. So what you have to start with is the whitest bread that you can find. This is not the healthiest of breakfasts, but it's so good. So here, you got nice, fluffy, white bread. Then, you need something to stick the Hafuslach onto, because if you just pour those on, it's always gonna go flying off. Also, don't toast your bread. Anyway, it needs to be like squishy, you know? I'm gonna start with butter, because, in my opinion, that's like the classic way to do it. Although, putting this to stick it onto, is like eating a Snickers sandwich, which is fabulous. So you can do that, and I'll do butter, and then we'll have half each. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll probably have more. Yeah. Although there's so many different brands of this, this is the one that when I lived in the Netherlands, my mom was always buying for me. And um, the one that you usually get in hotels. <sighs> it smells. Wow. That is so sentimental. Yeah. That smells incredible. Okay, you ready for the money shot? So that's perfect. And then just... Oh! Oh! Oh, they come out so uh, easy. I know! I don't even have to pour that and they're just coming out. Cheers. You have such a thick layer. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It actually looks like a cake. Mmm. Yeah. Things are like milk chocolate. You know, chocolate sprinkles are usually like a lot more bitter. Yeah. In my kind of breakfast. Mm hmm. Let us know in the comments. Have you tried this before? Or would you try this? Or is it something you would never have for breakfast? Now that we're fully rested and full of sugar, it's time to head into Leiden. I've missed this place a lot and I'm recognizing so many places as we drive through. It still looks absolutely beautiful, despite the rain. Now this is fun to see. Every weekend, my mom and I, every Saturday, we'd pass through the shopping street and like buy a couple of face masks. Then we'd go to the market, that was on every Saturday morning, and buy flowers and some foods and go to the cafe. The cafe that we're heading to right now is that cafe. So I hope it's still open. Let's hope it's still alive and kicking. That would be really nice. I really like being back. It, it almost even smells the same somehow. Look like how nice that canal is. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's, there's a lot of canals in Leiden. There's a lot of canals in the Netherlands yeah. in general, but Leiden has a lot of them, wow. I feel like. Is that one? That's it. Yes, that's the one. Should we go in? Yes. Still open? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, can I and uh, flat white with half a milk? Thank you for the half milk. Yeah, yeah. and uh, warm chocolate with slachel. Warm chocolate. All right. And do you have um, the apple cake? Apple cake. Goodbye. Yes. Can I yeah. have it um, heated up? Yeah. Can we do my slachel? Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good job. Half and half. <laughs> you understood what I was trying to say, I think. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, memories. Yeah. God, this is so nice. I know, right? Mm. I asked them to slightly warm it up. In the Netherlands, they seem to have their apple pies cool a lot of the time. But it's so much tastier when it's warm. So, oh, look at that. That looks so good. Come on. We do eat regular food too, people. Just. Not today. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. This place is a bakery as well. Like they do other lunch stuff like sandwiches and things. But I only ever go here for the sweet treats. I don't think I've ever had anything savory here. Pretty much ever. But it's so nice. I used to always have a hot chocolate with whipped cream. My mom always used to have a coffee for Kiert which means like coffee the wrong way around. I'm not 100% sure what it translates to into English, but it's just so nice being back here. It looks exactly the same. It feels exactly the same. It's so nice. The only thing that's missing now is my mom, but I'm here with you instead. Hello. <laughs> I'm second best. Or third after your sister, maybe. No, no. Equal? Love. Equal. Okay, good. <laughs> It 
it's five o'clock. The bells are tingling and ing. It's really nice. Coming back here has really made me appreciate how beautiful the Netherlands is, but specifically <laughs> Leiden. I have such a soft spot for this place and I feel really sort of honored and proud and thankful that I was able to move here when I was like 12 yeah. and live here for a quite a few years and just enjoy it for what it was. And now we're almost at my old house and I'm so excited to see <laughs> if it looks the same. <laughs> Cause fun fact, my old house, it's an apartment, but the building was built where Rembrandt was born, the painter or the artist. Um, so when I'd be sat in the kitchen eating breakfast by the dinner table, um, there was always tourists taking pictures of the house and there probably are so many photos somewhere of me just sat in my pajamas eating breakfast, like hachelslach, and then looking out being like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to be the tourists today and it won't be weird if we take photos of the house because it's like a popular house. There. And that window right there, that long one, that's right next to where I would sit at the dining table. <laughs> 1606 is when Rembrandt was born here, but up to 2008 is when Adrian Pertus lived here. Yeah. Hello. I didn't do it either. Yeah. Yeah. Up there. And when they built this thing, everyone thought it was such an eyesore because they made him look super weird. There's a statue here of Rembrandt and they made him look absolutely kooky crazy. That's so interesting. You used to live in, like, randomly a really interesting tourist hotspot. Yeah, so here's Rembrandt and I guess a self-depiction of himself. I remember we all thought, oh, that looks rubbish. But it's actually, now that I'm back, it's not that, that, it's much nicer than what was here just beforehand, which is just loads of skateboarders on sort of concrete slabs. What about that one? Oh yeah, another one. <laughs> looks all right, that one looks fine. But <sighs> I'm so, so glad that we managed to come back here in our new home, right? Like. Elton on wheels, we've managed to drive all the way to my old house in Leiden where I lived with my mom and my sister and it's just, it feels really sentimental to be back. I feel like it all looks and smells and feels the same. I'm just older. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> I'm getting upset, no way. <laughs> I like it. Mm.